In today's episode, can we escape the scary, scary stacks that continuously plague our border towns and escape back to Ambrakia for retraining, only to come back like the Phoenix and destroy the enemy? Well, stay tuned to find out. Hi guys, welcome back, I am Red Zed, and today we are back with another episode of our Epirus campaign, episode 6, and last time we really did face the music, didn't we? That was one of the most brutal battles I have played on this mod for a very, very long time. It was very scary, we nearly lost, we probably should have lost, we only just survived with Alexander's life, especially when he was bugged. And Helenos did die. So the first thing I wanted to actually look at was our tree. And because our, yeah, our factionaire is no longer on our tree, Ducalos has been, um, you know, adopted. But I want to wait for Pyrrhos or Ptolemaeus. Hopefully we can keep the line down here. For now, though, let's make Eumenes because he is Helenos' son, our heir. Um, I mean... Just keep it true to the Pyrrhic line. And let's come back to Ambrakia now. I'm very scared. Do we have a troop training? We do not. Well, we need to save our money for next turn anyway. We've got a troop training over here. We've got a few troops over this way. But I think we're going to have to use them to kill this army if we can. Anyone training in here? Absolutely not. So let's press the end turn and let's just hope that this army does not come and kill us because... <laughs> That would be pretty darn brutal. And great, Ellis has now decided to <laughs> cancel their protectorate status. Oh, thanks. Great. Well, uh, alliance? No, no, literally no one wants an alliance with us. Everyone says it's demanding or very demanding. Well, let's scam some money out of them anyway. Let's go for like a thousand. That'd probably be... That's demanding, really? Really demanding. Okay. Well done, Ellis. Thank you. 600, though. Regretfully, nope. Great. And let's, of course, accept another adoption. I know we're accepting a lot, but we need more and more generals, really. I would like to take you, actually, with us to um, in the army because, of course, we have no cavalry. We are going to get cavalry next turn, but, of course, it's going to take two turns at least to train that cavalry. Now, do we have enough money to retrain all of these boys? Just about. Just about. We're not going to train anything in here for now. Just because, of course, we want to train something next turn when we get the Hippodrome. We may, in fact, just chill here for a couple of turns. Now, I know that sounds a bit crazy, especially for me. Because normally, you know, I'm out there trying to conquer as much as possible. But... Honestly, we may just have to. We may just have to do this. Um, now, this army, they still haven't got any siege equipment. So, I'm not going to engage them until they do. Because there's no need. There's no need. Um, we could beat this probably pretty handily with the units we can scrap together. Especially with those generals. We don't have any infantry, though. That's the one issue. Oh, what a brutal, brutal campaign. Oh, we've also got these two guys as well. So, is there anyone we can merge together so we can retrain a bit quicker? Honestly, no one. <laughs> well, we were going to wait an extra turn anyway to retrain this Zista Foroy. So, that is fine. But, wow, what a brutal, uh, you know, set of events. I'm still waiting for the GCS and the Antigonids to fight. Honestly, we're the only people who get attacked. Like, look at the Antigonids, right? If we go into the diplomatic standing, the Antigonids just have me and Rhodes as an enemy. Wow. And somehow are trading with everyone. Like, the Seleucids have a few enemies, to be fair. That's fair enough. The Ptolemies, the Ptolemies literally have one enemy, and that's Kyrene. They don't even fight the Seleucids. Come on. That is your whole pur purpose in life, man. Your whole purpose in life. Like, how have the Antigonids not got enemies with, like, Sparta? They're allied with Sparta. That is just cursed. And the Boeotians. They should be at least fighting Athens down here. What are they doing? Just standing there doing nothing? Like, that's, they must be. Like, attack them. I know you're focused on me, but attack someone else. God damn it, please. <laughs> what dickheads, man. I guess that is 
what you get for playing on very hard and uh, <laughs> extreme mode. So, yeah. Fantastic. But what have we got? We got 3,000 gold left. Let's recruit some more troops. Let's get those guys in there. Let's get another Prodromoy. We may be close to having two armies then very soon, which will actually be fantastic for us. We've got these two units in here, so we'll send them across to join the army in a couple of turns and just see what sort of army we can make. And maybe we'll have enough for a second army very soon too, which will be fantastic. Like I say, these guys have not built anything yet, so that's fine. So let's end the turn and let's see what the Antigonids decide to do with this filthy army. So that Antigonid army is just defending that river crossing, it would seem, at the minute. Let's go have a sneak peek back up here. Let's see how many filthy armies they've got together again. Where is this coming from, man? Oh my god. <laughs> we really need to take a few more settlements off them. So let's get a good army to get... Oh no, we're waiting to retrain these boys. Let's train another Zistaphoroi as well. In terms of the rest of our recruitment hubs, we're training over there. Have they built siege equipment yet? No, they still haven't. Five more turns until that's gone. I mean, we may just pop across with Alexander to deal with that just to make it, you know, very few losses. And after next turn, we should be able to have a look to see whether we can maybe have... You know, a main army stack going after their armies and then a siege stack of just like the Trasher Hoplites and all that sort of thing and Prodromoi just going around doing their business and some Akontistai, that sort of thing. So we will have a look at that next turn. We still have enough money to do what we want. So that's all in Ambrakia, that training, isn't it? Good. And yes, we finally got the Hippodrome in Ambrakia. We upgraded Pasaran now too. Oof. Let's leave it off 70. I don't want public order issues here anymore at all. So, yeah, Kukira's also upgraded. Fantastic. Now, what else have we got? Yeah, Settlement Besiege, we know that. And the Antigonids have an agent somewhere. We've got 3,000 gold left. What do we want to do with that? Now, ideally, I would love to get these army barracks. That's 5,100. Did we queue in anyone else then? No. Did we queue in any buildings then? I mean, we could destroy a building or two. Hmm. I mean, we don't really... I mean, Larissa, we did... Yeah, we are making that into a rec recruitment hub. I don't think Tricker we're ever going to make into a recruitment hub. So let's get rid of these buildings so that we can start building that second uh, next level barracks straight away. I don't know what that's going to allow us to get, actually. Let's have a look. Hopefully the Phalangites. Hopefully better Phalangites. Third tier barracks for them. Fourth tier for the Agima. Yeah, fourth tier for both of the Agima. And also fourth tier stables for the Bodyguard. And Mercenary Indian War Elephants. How much for the Molossians fourth tier? So this fourth tier will only allow us to get Embrachio Phalangites. But that actually brings us up to decent Phalangites rather than the Deuteroid. I was waxing lyrical about the Deuteroi at the start of last episode. <laughs> and now they've kind of met their match, really, haven't they, guys? <laughs> I guess it was revenge for killing Antigonus Ganatus. They were not very happy with that, were they? But, yeah, let's wait another turn and let's see what we can do after that. Oh, glorious. A new faction has emerged. The Chrysaurian League. That should be over here, I think. Let's toggle the fog of war. Let's have a look. I think it's over over in this. There they are. Nice. In carrier. Very nice. And they start with some pretty darn good armies, it seems. Nice, though. That has, you know, disrupted the Seleucids and the Ptolemies. And look at Militus go as well. Priene survives still. Chios is alive. Oh, my God. It's one for the little ones. Maybe it's because the Seleucids and Ptolemies not fighting each other. Look at the Anatolians go to. And there's Rhodes. <gasps> yes. Come on, the little boys. We love to see the little boys do well. Well done. Very nice. Let's also toggle the fog of war back off. Argos, I think, still uh, has uh, come around as well, which is pretty cool. And yeah, Athens, have you built anything yet? No. That's fine. I am slightly... Oh, my God. Now they've got two. Two bloody big armies just right next to each other. 
Well, we should have a bit of a stronger army than we had last time. Fenike now got the city barracks too, so they can actually start training Deuteroy. Fantastic. So let's get together a good army. Now, I don't really care about this second general. It doesn't matter that much. I just want to take the guy with the less management. This guy, yeah, we'll take the guy with a little bit more command. So let's sort this army out. Also auto sort all these boys. Take as many Deuteroy as we can. There we go. All the Deuteroy in there now. I don't want to take... I'd rather take these damaged sort of mercenaries, apart from the Peloponnesians, in there rather than the, uh, the Greek Hoplites, because the Greek Hoplites are pretty darn trash, which we've found out. Now, what do we have over here? We've got more Prodromoi. Honestly, I would like... A couple of extra Prodromoi in this army. So let's put our cavalry in now. That means we've got... I want two extra, so we need five more troops. So five more troops. Two of the Athamanian Peltas. And then three of the Greek Hoplites. And then for the rest... Uh, for the next army, let's go and combine at Pharsalos rather than anywhere else. And we should have enough to go and deal with those boys at some point. So let's come around. Let's go this way. And let's go for that Athenian army. Not got any rams yet. They may come and attack us here, but I think they're going to get blocked. But yeah, we'll go for the Athenian army first. We're also going to send these guys up to there. And yeah, we're getting another Zistaphoroi. Good. That's fantastic. And in Phoenike, we just need to pump out troops. I know we're spending so much money on troops at the minute, guys. But <laughs> really, really much more important than anything else right now. So let's go for another hoplite. Yeah, this is what I mean about a sieging army. In fact, a sieging army would be better with a Greek archer. We are pretty much building nowhere now. So that's slightly scary. But yeah, once we've destroyed these uh, these Antigonid armies. <laughs> once we've destroyed these Antigonid armies. We should be okay. <laughs> I don't even believe that myself. <laughs> God damn Antigonids. Extreme mode Antigonids. Absolutely brutal. Taking Thessaly was fine. It's just everything since then. <laughs> it's been pretty darn difficult. But anyway, let's press that end turn. Let's see where we get up to. So the Antigonids do seem like they have split off, but let's use our spy to check that. I don't know where that other army's gone, so that's slightly scary. I don't see it anywhere, but <laughs> slightly scary. But let's get that other couple of units of Prodromoi in there. Moscow's going to be very happy because I'm using Prodromoi, but I'm not happy. <laughs> and there they go. They run away. Cremonides as well, the faction leader of Athens. We'll do that battle in a little bit. Oh, god damn. This has been close to a, a saving my campaign <laughs> at some of the points. And now we're only making 4,500 because of the amount of armies we have, which is just insane. Uh, we've got another Zistaphoroi. Fantastic. Let's get them to Pharsalos as well. They can form part of this brand new army. Uh, let's leave one of those. So how many do we have? Sort those boys. Yeah, this is getting to be a good sized army. Ten. So we just need a good general for them. Uh, so we'll try and find a good general for them in the meantime. But these guys are quite good at managing now. Not really good generals. So I'll have to have a look around to try and find someone who is actually going to be a decent general. That's not too old as well, remember. We want someone pretty young. Um, so that they can live a long time being a general. Nine management there. Wow. Really good. And he's young. He is going to be a very good governor for us. But yeah, this army can then go and just siege down some of these little shitty, uh, shittier places. And yes. Now I'm kind of ruining not <laughs> fort walling because that would have made everything so much easier. But like I say, I don't like to do it, guys. So, um, But yeah, I am scared as to where that army has gone. It could be like w marching through here to come back and attack us. But yeah, I kind of want to bait them. I kind of want to just go for Pella and just sack Pella and just be like, fuck you. <laughs> Let's do our building, though, and our recruitment. So we're recruiting there. We're recruiting there. We are not recruiting in Ambrakia. So let's get another Zista for We need more cavalry. More cavalry, guys. And we are recruiting everywhere else. So let's then have a look. For Nikkei, anything we want to build in there? Probably not. 
We've got... There's no point building the stables there because all it gives us is Prodromoy. Pasaron over here. I feel like an academy in Pasaron would be very useful. Just so we can get more money squeezed out of this place. But they are... How much do they cost? 4,000. Yeah, that's just a bit too expensive. We need some more quick gains from our economy. I believe we can build a port somewhere. Let's have a look. Where can we build? I thought we could. Yes, in Dion. Now, hopefully they don't get... Um, <laughs> doesn't get bribed. That would be pretty annoying. And then in Thebai Pathiotides, let's go for the market. Yeah, and then we'll build a port. No, let's build something else so we can build a market there at some point. And then in Ferai, let's go for the tax income bonus. Temple. Anywhere else can we get anything? No. Yeah, interesting. Well, let's go for this battle. It shouldn't be too difficult. A couple of Prodromoi. We've got our own Prodromoi to deal with them. And some Athenian Hoplites, which are good. Peri, yeah, what are these? Peripoloi, they're not very good. And Peltas, so should not be too much of a worry. Main thing is just making sure Alexander doesn't die. I wonder whether he's scarred. He should be scarred after that last battle. But yeah, Winter, inefficient taxman. So less movement points. Fabulously wealthy as well. Nice. Yeah, he's not scarred yet. So I'm surprised he's not scarred after that battle because he seemed like he was in the fight for a long time just taking a beating. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into the battle, guys. So we're using a little bit of a different tactic. I'm going to use my Athamanians and the Thuriophoroi as meat shields in front of the Phalangites. So then the Phalangites can swoop in afterwards and not take a load of Javi damage like they have done previously. The Prodromoi are actually getting shot already. wonder who by. Peripoloi. Ah, oh, they're actually a, uh, a unit, aren't they? Interesting. Wait, what did I do there? Who did I move? Oh, I moved these guys. Well, fire at them. Fire at them. You guys come up and fire as well. And then we're going to move the phalangites in right behind them. So once they've fired, we can get the phalangites in here. You guys get up there. And these guys, let's go. I don't mind taking a bit of damage on the Thuriophoroi. That's fine. We're going to try and box in their Prodromoi and bring our Prodromoi around this way as well to try and deal with them. There we go. Right. Phalanx quick, Phalanx quick. There goes their general. Oh, God damn, I've missed it again. How have I done that twice? Halt, men, halt. God damn it, that is very annoying. Right, let's bring our cavalry around this way to try and box them in completely. And let's get these guys up here. Here we go. Phalangites, let's get you in the fight. These guys are fighting. Fight them, fight them, fight them. Well, hopefully the Athamanians and stuff should have taken the damage there, but they didn't really. They ran away. <laughs> oh, well. Prodromoi, die. Prodromoi, die. Who else have we got here, then? Let's go into the Peri Poloi or whatever the hell they're called. And you guys get up here to surround them. Actually, you, no. Get in the fight. You guys get in the fight, too. What a mess. This was supposed to be an easy battle, and we've made it into a severe mess. Fight the general, though. This Prodromoi, what are you doing, man? There we go. Let's kill them all. Kill them. Kill them. Just kill them, for God's sake. Looks like they've charged. Kill this Prodromoi if we can. There we go. Kill them all. Prodromoi should be very easy to kill. Right, guys. Just in the center there. You guys get over there. You guys get into this. You guys come this way. Just so we fully surround them here. There we go. That's better. Kill the Prodromoi. Let's kill this Peripoloi or whatever the hell it's called. And yeah, just oh, just just a bit messy. Just a bit clumsy, I'm not going to lie. The micro, not been amazing. Uh, right, this Prodromoi can come back behind now as well. Good, we're starting to break them all. Fantastic. And the General's Bodyguard, let's make sure we try and kill him. How many have we killed? We've got 38% left. You guys get up there. And we'll come around. Who is still in? You don't want to be in loose formation anymore. Same with you guys. Get you out of that. Come on, guys. What are you doing? Kill them all. Kill them all. <laughs> uh, right then. Zista Foroi, let's not waste any more of you when we don't need to. What are these Prodromoi doing? Did I tell them to fight, to charge in? <laughs> I don't think I did. I don't know what they're doing. Get out. <laughs> you imbeciles. Right, there we go. We've won. Okay. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Dearie, dearie me. 
what a mess. Again. Again a mess. Fantastic. Ah. Really annoying. I'm not going to lie. Really annoying. Just, just wasteful, wasteful, wasteful gameplay. Ah. Well, every now and then we have a glorious victory like we did last episode. And we follow it up with just shit. <laughs> but let's finish this battle and I'll see you there, guys. I just need to be a bit more careful. Like, we don't need to take 300 losses. I don't need to rush in. I can take the javelins. I don't need to worry about them so much. But a bit of a mess anyway. I mean, it would have been better if I'd got the phalanx down. I just misclicked again. Poor micro. But a victory nonetheless. I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking we should join this Zistaphoroi up with the units. So I'm going to merge them. Oh, that's a Zistaphoroi. I'm going to merge them. It's going to, you know, remove a unit from the uh, from the battlefield. But they didn't have any experience really anyway. So it's fine. The rest of them, the 304 did take a bit of a battering there. But we can actually go for this guy up here. I would love that Zistaphoroi for this battle. But no, we can't. We can't go for him. But we are going to march that way anyway. And then we're going to join the Zistaphoroi in maybe next turn. Or we can get the extra Prodromoi. Um, I mean, the Zista 4 is definitely a lot more useful overall for morale shocks. Hmm. But we can't waste that movement points. So let's keep the Zista 4 for another day. And yeah, let's keep on going. We've got more troops on the way, which is fantastic. Good to see. And then hopefully we'll have enough for that secondary army. Now, who's going to lead it? We need to find someone. You're 23. Intelligent, charismatic, but spiritless. So we don't want you. Let's have a look. You're 34. You're also spiritless. They've got no spirit, these Epirotes, apparently. No spirit at all. This guy's spiritless. Why is everyone spiritless, man? This guy's vir vigorous, but he's uncharismatic. Is he selfish? Yes. He's individualistic. He's not quite selfish. I mean, the best option might just be this guy. He's 22. Bright, magnetic, and vigorous. He's venal. There are many men in the world who choose to serve the highest bidder. Whoever that may be at a given time. This is one such man. Which isn't great. He's considerate, though, and pessimistic. So he shouldn't want to take the money off the men like Alexander does. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. Enemy army routes. Glorious. Well, let's see what this army does and see whether that other massive army decides to come and join us again. And hopefully Athens now wants peace and doesn't keep just boat bombing us forever. So I'll see you after the end turn, guys. So that army didn't move, which is fantastic for us. And also, Igenion has expanded, finally. Oh, glorious. We can also put this up slightly onto normal. Good. Because we need to squeeze as much money as we can out of our settlements at the minute. Because we aren't making that much money, especially considering all of this training. That is going on. You're going to go join them at Fast Loss 2. Where you've got another guy at Fast Loss. And Ferai got the Archer 2. So, yeah. I think we'll keep on training for now. One more Hoplite. And then in here, one more Archer. And that is all our money already gone, unfortunately. We need to take a settlement this, <laughs> this, uh, this episode. <laughs> Please let us take a settlement this episode. We're also going to come back over this way. See what's going on over here. Oh, hello, Athens. If you want to take Pella, that would be lovely. I, I don't mind that because we'll just take it off you because we are at war with you. So <laughs> that's fine. Uh, that's not a problem at all. So, yeah. Six management for this guy now. Great. We want to swap him into fast loss probably at some point. But, yeah, we've got you guys coming down. I think next turn we'll probably move this army out. And go and siege down like one of these smaller areas. We've got another Zistaphoroi coming. But we've got this army to deal with. Alketas. Now, isn't that a name that rings a bell from the Seleucid campaign? So, let's go after them. It says it's in their favor. Probably because they've got better troops. I mean, generally, yes, they do. So we're going to take this slow this time, guys, rather than bum-rushing them like a crazy bastard like I always do. <laughs> 10 command and 10 influence, though. That should be fantastic for us. So if we can kill Alketas, I think this victory should be ours.
Yes. Tonight, we will tell each other tales of our bravery. Glorious. But before that, we must beat our foes and show them why we are the heirs of Alexander and Achilles. Yes. Glorious. So it looks like we're going to be fighting amongst the trees here. Amongst the trees. That's fine. We've got no actual long-range missile units here, which is kind of interesting. So let's keep coming forward. We are going to start to move a bit quicker now. Probably up to there. The Athamanians can get in front as well. And then we're going to get our flanking forces. And I am going to definitely hold these guys to make sure we put the phalanx down at the right time this time <laughs> um, and it looks like they are firing at us which isn't great so let us skirmish for now what do they have behind just hoplites doesn't look like they've got too many thurio four right those guys have disappeared now oh well so mainly we want to focus on their chalka speeders because they're a lot better than us and let's get into the phalanx and the athamanians looks like it's going to engage them good and let's get back. They fired their first volleys of javis, so get back, men. Or I'll break your legs. Right, keep coming forward. And the Prodromoi, too. And let's see what happens here with the enemy. Getting their Chalka Speeders just straight up there, that's fine. So let's us come forward slightly, try and box them in. Yeah, this slower tactic, definitely a bit more sensible, really, isn't it? <laughs> And when I say a bit more, a lot more sensible. Let's get our cavalry around this flank if we can. They do have a lot of cavalry, so I need my infantry to really compensate for this. So we're going to bring you forward, and then we're going to bring you forward to try and deal with that cavalry. Get the cavalry here for now. And what else have we got on this side? You guys go and fight them. You guys fight them. And then we're going to get these guys around this way. Have we been attacked by cavalry yet? Not yet. So we're going to keep coming forward. These guys should still be firing. Glorious. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, the hoplites have gone in there. That's not great for us because they are just kind of doing whatever that is. Here comes some cavalry. Okay, they're going into the phalangites though. Good. Right, let's get their Zistophoroi. Very easy. Nice. I want you to charge them. Try and get rid of that general. And we're going to come around this way. These guys are going to come up that way. There we go. Good. Got rid of the Zistaphoroi. The general's still running around, but he's not really doing much, is he? What's going on here? This is just a mess. <laughs> well, these guys are there. So, I mean, it's going to be a triple sandwich, isn't it? Prodromoi, let's bring you around this way. Where are my cavalry? Where's my cav gone? Oh, over here. Quick, quick, quick. Back. Kill this sister for a... That's Prodromoi, so they shouldn't really be that good in melee. Let's try and get rid of those hoplites. You guys need to fight them. I don't know what you're doing. Good. We should brutally destroy this sister for a... Look at that. Here comes the Prodromoi, though. Right, let's get out. Let's just get out for a second. I don't want to lose all my sister for a just for no reason. We're going to come around this way. There we go. This is better. This is better. It's better. Being more sensible going to get the Prodromoi up here. Try and help out our cavalry. You guys, who do I want to... I want to I wanna, uh, surround that Chalka Speeders. Who's getting battered? These guys, how are you getting battered here? You need to fight them. You're facing the wrong way, guys. Get the guard mode off. They, they can stay in guard mode. They can uh, get rid of guard mode. You guys get there. Same with you, boys. That's probably ruined you there. You guys too. Let's face them. Charge them. You guys need to get into those Macedonian hoplites. What is this? Just Prodromoi? I mean, we'll take the fight against the Prodromoi. No problem. Let's rally the men. Should be able to destroy them pretty easily. Oh, here we go. We've got Zistafore in here. Let's go for the charge then. Let's go for the charge. Prodromoi charge for the boys. If we got anyone else that's spare... There we go. Now kill this Prodromoi. Kill that Prodromoi. Kill them all. Kill them all. Oh my god. One of our, our general is down to one man already. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right, let's get that Greek slinger. Have we killed that general? Kill him. Kill Alketas. Good. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. So let's try and charge the back of these mercenary hoplites. 
And yeah, our, our cavalry has been pretty darn damaged. I'm not going to lie. But that's fine. I think we're going to be okay. Doing quite a decent job of getting rid of those Chalka Speeders. Yeah, that really wasn't much because you are only Progermoy at the end of the day. Right, let's kill this Progermoy then. If they want to keep charging. Oh, the Progermoy routed already. Goddamn fools. Goddamn fools. Yeah, one of our our Chalka Speeders has gone. Not Chalka Speeders, whatever they're called. Right, Affirmanians, let's get you in the fight over this way if you can get out. That'd be great. This unit should be absolutely shredded. It's just these uh, Chalka Speeders that are the main issue. Let's kill them. Kill them all, man. Kill them all. Right, where is my cavalry? Here we go. And have we lost a general? Oh my god, not again. How many generals am I going to lose? How did he even die? Fighting Prodromoy. That's embarrassing. <laughs> that is embarrassing, my friends. Oh, dearie me. Well. Well, I mean, we're still going to absolutely shred these guys. We've killed a lot more than they have. We just need to get some mass routes off at this point. Our Phalangites, yeah, the Deuteroy are really so bad compared to the Chalka Speeders. So we need to be wary of that. You guys go for the charge in there. That should hopefully break those boys. Oh, God. Get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, dear. Well, even going carefully, we still did something fucking wrong. <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> I'm, not even, I'm not even really tired or anything today. And, yeah. Goddamn screwed up two battles in a row. Goddamn. Well, we should. How are these guys still fucking steady, man? They've got no general. They've literally got no general. They're still steady. God damn it, man. Right, Prodromoy, come back. We need you for some mass charges. I don't know what they're doing. We should absolutely shred these boys, I'm not going to lie. Hopefully we can get a mass route off at some point. Right, let's charge again one more time. Let's see what happens. The general's in the back. Good, fantastic. Come on, this better be a good charge this time. Rather than last time, that was terrible. Okay, really good charge. Really, really good charge. The, st the other guys are still eager, though. God damn it, man. Two units are routing right next to you, and you're still eager. Well, let's chain the charges. Get the progeny in the next charge. Uh, here we go. The mass routes have started. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. Get in there, guys. Get in there. Kill them all. Kill them all. <laughs> I'm just numb at this point. <laughs> I'm just numb. Numb to these fools, the Antigonids, just pumping out units left, right, and center, man. God damn it. They're all fighting to the death. I'm going to keep them fighting to the death, and we're going to charge down everyone else. Well, there we go, guys. Another full stack demolished. We lost 700, but yeah, a decent result nonetheless. This Deuteroy, 185. Fair play, the MVP of today. And I've been bashing the Deuteroy recently. <laughs> Uh, but that might be one that's already got a lot of experience. So, anyway, I'll see you back on the campaign map, guys. A glorious victory and another one dead. <laughs> I didn't even remember his name, but he has died. Alexander, though, is still amazing. Spear carrier now, more valor for the general's bodyguard, and a Macedonian aristocrat. More influence and more command when ca commanding cavalry. More command when fighting Greeks. I don't think he can get any more command. <laughs> than he already has. Now, I am tempted to go for Argos or Aristikon because if we go there, they can only fight us across a river and we could do a nice job of defending a river, but the same with Iene here. I, uh, could they go there, though? That's the one question. They may be able to, but definitely next turn we've got to move this army out. But I could also go for Pella. Let's just have a quick look around. See how close any big armies are. Here's one. What's that? Oh, that is quite a big army. <laughs> oh, dear, dear me. There's not much we can really do here, is there? But let's at least take a settlement. We've not taken a settlement last episode apart from retaking Iginion. So, yeah, taking a settlement is going to be very, very good for us. So, I think we go for Ayana. It is a large town. And I don't want to move my armies around. Let's have a look at, say, their armies. Could I press on this guy? No, we can't actually see where their armies would be able to move. 
So a little bit scary because that army may still have the movement points to get to here. But let's go and siege it down and finally retake another settlement off them before they can pump out more troops. Look how many troops they're just pumping out. God damn it. More and more. Well, I'm glad we didn't go for that one with the two uh, Chalka speeders. That would be uh, quite an annoying fight. But yeah, pretty brutal. We're going to have to go back for retraining very soon again. Again, guys. <laughs> oh, my God. Can this Sister Foray join? Yes, they can. Fantastic. Well, that's going to help us out, definitely. So let's press the end turn and let's see where we get to. And the Bori boys have gone. Litos are dead. No, my favorite Cretan boys are dead. Looks like the Antigones are finally at war with someone else, the Boeotians. And that's not a scary army at all. I'm just going to pretend I've never seen that one. Um, <laughs> great. Uh, fantastic. So let's get this army out. We'll use Iskerion. And we're going to swap you over into there. We're going to pop. And actually, we could do these guys. 220 for their upkeep. That's still cheaper than a full unit of Akontista. I think their upkeep's about 400. Yeah. So that's still cheap. So we'll get that guy in there, even though he's a mercenary. He's a good, decent um, garrison troop nonetheless. So let's get into there. 69% now, so we'll have to go on to low. And when this army is going to go for Argos Aresticon. Basically, just try and take out some of these more fringe regions. Just to try and reduce their power a little bit in safe sieges. So safer sieges rather than more sort of a scary siege. We've got another Zister Foroi. Let's get them up to there. And what else do we have over here? Nothing in the works at the minute. Do I want another Deuteroy? I mean, there are, they are still our best infantry at this point. They're not good, but they're still our best infantry. Let's keep on going with the Zister Foroi then. And in Pharsalos, we are still recruiting and we're recruiting over there. We may actually be able to build something this time. Oh, another candidate for adoption. Well, we'll take him. Not completed. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the Antigonids are wearing me down, my friends. <laughs> Their incessant stacks are just brutal. They are so brutal. And we still, like, even with all this land, we are not in a position where we're comfortable because we, we can't recruit any of our really good units just yet. Let's have a look at our reforms. One huge city and all we get is a, a Spidophoroi. So, yeah, we just need to get... We need to get Ambrachia. I'm going to put Ambrachia down on low again because we need to get it growing. We really do. And then we also need to get some more Phalangites, some good Phalangites, rather than the trash ones. Finally, we can get good cavalry. That's very helpful. But apart from that, you know, we're pretty darn screwed. I would like to be able to build this in Pharsalos. We need a little bit of extra cash. Well, we should get that from taking this settlement. So let's do it. Should be nice and easy. Hopefully I don't mess up this one. So we've got through the gates. Very nice indeed. Let's get our Thurio 4 way through just to make a bit of a breach. And let's see what we can do after that. Oh, here comes the uh, Greek Slingers. I don't know why, but let's charge him anyway. Rally the men so he doesn't die. <laughs> There we go. And these guys can get into the fight as well. Don't fire your javis. Just get in the fight. Hopefully, we can just destroy these guys and make them rout straight away. That'd be nice. But here comes the hoplites as well. So we're coming down this way. We've got all these guys coming around this way. We maybe need a bit more speed. Oh, no. They did come back. They did come back. That's fine. That's fine. Right. We will calm down then. So let's, uh, let's come back around this way with the cavalry. There we go. And the hoplites are coming. They are coming. So you guys get back. I do not want you fighting that hoplite for no reason. Phalangites down here. That's good. General, just stick around there for a second. Looks like they're going to come and engage us. Fantastic. That means we can charge them in the back. Very nice indeed. And oh, looks like they're coming off the town square here as well. Cool. That's pretty darn good. Right, let's get the Phalangites into this. You guys get round that way. Where are those 304 I going? Let's get behind these guys so we can charge them. Come on, guys. Get in uh, your Phalangite formation. There we go. Now they'll get the Phalangites down. It'll be like a double line if they do get it down. 
Don't guard mode. Just, just get your phalangites down. There we go. That should be pretty nice. Let's go with that. And let's rally so he doesn't die. There we go. Here come the 304, right? If he wants to do this, let's go then. Let's go. Let's get you round. Let's get you two round two to block him off. Have we got a good charge off? Looks like we have. Let's get out now before we get sandwiched ourselves. There we go. Oh, yes. They're getting absolutely battered, those poor hoplites. Nice. Right. Phalangites, get through as far as possible. Athamanians, you deal with whatever that is. And then what do we have? Thurio Foroi here too. Oh, they, they, they're chasing after us. I don't know why, but they are. Nice. <laughs> well, they are, they are sandwiched no matter what, which is great for us. So if we can sandwich them in here, fantastic. Right then, boys. Let's get in there and let's sandwich the boys. Come on, men. Get going. Stop being little pussios. There we go. Get those boys there too. And then we'll bring our general nice and close so he can give his bonuses to the men. I mean, we will leave that guy on there if they want to, uh, you know, waste time uh, on the town square. Fine. To try and go for the town square. Guy, fire. What is that? Why? I told you to put your phalanx down. You just all blobbed. <laughs> Classic. But anyway, let's get the general into the back of there. Let's rally again so he doesn't die. Good. Let's go. Let's go. Bang. That that was not a charge. You all stopped before you actually charged. No, 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 no. We're not playing this fucking game with them. Stop being pussies, man. Stop being pussies. Just come and fight. Just come and fight. Stop being fucking pussies, man. Stop it. Stop it. It's quite jarring. There we go. Full cavalry charge should break them pretty easily. Have you actually got a phalanx formation for once? There we go. Into the back of him. Into the back of him. Bang. That should have been a better charge. Good. Break these guys. Break them. Break them. Break the fools. Break them all. Good. Finally. Let's end the battle. 46 killed 248. A heroic victory. Glorious victory. Now we just need the game to register that we have won. <laughs> Come on, game. You know we've won. Come on, there we go. <laughs> Glorious victory. Let's enslave as well. Nowhere actually upgraded because of that. Let's destroy their recruitment building. And with that massive army around, I really don't want to carry on with this army. It's so battered and bruised. Honestly, it's it's ridiculously damaged. Will you be happy with six Cretan hoplites? Let's find out. Yes, you will. Fantastic. Oh, how can we not get to Ambrakia? Come on. It's summer as well, so we should have much better movement points. Ah, oh, well, at least we can retrain all the cavalry. So let's get Oh, apart from Alexander, we can train, retrain all those cavalry. So we're going to use our money for that. And instantly, we're now making 11,000, which is pretty darn good. I'm happy with that. Definitely. This is a 2,000 gold settlement. Wow. That's pretty darn good. Oh, the mine. Yes, it's got a gold mine. Oh, glorious. Well, tactical mastermind or lucky idiot. <laughs> you can decide. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Well, I think we're going to do one more turn, guys. We're going to start this siege. We're going to get our guys back for retraining. And look at all the battles around Iginion. It's been absolutely devastated, poor Iginion, throughout this uh, throughout this campaign. But yeah, I'm also going to uh, readjust all the taxes, guys. But I'll do that off camera. You don't need to see me do all of that. So here we go, guys. We have adjusted all the tax rates now. So there's a couple of places a little bit upset, but mainly pretty happy. And we're starting to make some decent money. In fact, I think Ayane is the richest settlement we have, and we've just taken it. <laughs> Ooh, that is not a good endorsement of our building policy the last episode or two. <laughs> but fine, whatever. Argos is now at war with the GCS. Fine, don't care. Um, and, of course, we repaired that. We are not building very much at the minute. We're going to siege down this settlement here. It does have two 
Um, what do you call it? Like, it has some phalangites in there. Two phalangites and a general, I think, is their army. But that's fine. Let's auto-sort these guys. I think with the amount of missile troops we've got in there, we should be okay. We're also training another one of these boys. Let's combine all of these guys together. Yes, we got loads more experience from doing that. So that is fantastic. And let's retrain once again. Ah, oh, do we have anyone we could... 67 and 64, and it's 123. This should work. This should work. Yes, there we go. And now we can actually retrain everyone. In terms of other troops, we did get another Greek hoplite. So let's get them up there. We also got another Greek archer. So let's also get them on the way. And now after retraining again, we've got no money. <laughs> oh, when is it going to end? When is it going to end, my friends? The pain. The suffering train, the hordes of the Antigonids have just been absolutely pummeling us for days, haven't they? Absolutely pummeling us. But we have still won the day. We have still won out against them. And uh, yeah, it's just whether we can win the war, you know. And I think next time, once all this army's been retrained, again, we should have a very nice army. We can probably replace the mercenary phalangites with that Zistaphoroi. So we've got even more cavalry. And yeah, I think we can then go straight for Pella. I don't think we need to be scared of that big army. I think we can beat it. It's going to be tough. But with a full stack, we should be okay. I mean, where has that full stack gone anyway? You can't even see it. Ah, there it is. Hiding away, hiding away. So I do think it's definitely just worth going for Pella and Thessalonica and just taking them out. Because I think a lot of these good troops that they're getting are probably from these regions. And once that's done, they've still got a lot of settlements, don't get me wrong. But they should have a lot less. They should have a lot less. And we kind of, you know, consolidated northern Greece at that point. Then we can maybe set our eyes on the Peloponnese and get even richer. Because we're not so rich at the minute. We're not poor, but we're definitely not hugely rich. Anyway, but anyway, guys, if you did enjoy, a like and a subscribe would really help the channel out. So I really appreciate that. If you could give this episode a like, the hordes of the Antigonids, I think we'll call it or something like that. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure as always. Please do like and subscribe and I'll see you all again on the next video.